Hello and welcome to the second fix video for the simple traffic system. One of you on the Discord channel, uh, sorry for the pronunciation, Auguscan, has found an issue with our setup that for some reason the car can travel across the three-way when there are two three-ways lined up and there is nothing between them. So we are going to fix this issue. We are in our project and let's test this that in fact this issue is there in our project. I'm going to place some uh, roads around uh, the town and I'm going to uh, maybe disable the gizmo so we can see a bit better what is going on. I'm going to place house here and a special structure here and we are going to spawn a car and indeed the car is changing the lane to travel using a bit shorter path through our city. So how we are going to fix it? we have a bit of an issue with our three-way street so i'm going to open the assets folder prefabs and uh, i think this is roads and street three-way and i'm going to open this prefab and the issue is in fact here with the setup that we have and i have disabled the 3d icons so if we select our hierarchy and in our car markers we have our car markers and we have added to the adjacent markers lists the different car markers uh, for the uh, specific car markers. So basically we have connected them so they can uh, create for us a road. But there is an issue. For example, if we select this car marker three, I have connected it with this marker to the right, to the left and in the diagonal direction. But if we consider how the car travels, okay. So I have been a bit foolish with setup uh, like this because the car will go on this lane in this direction and on the lower lane in the opposite direction. So basically, if our car, let me select a different color, maybe it's yellow, reaches this point, it cannot really go back here. So this is invalid direction. So instead, our car that is here can only go in this direction and in this direction. From this point it can only go in this direction and further it can only go in this direction so for all uh, for every car marker i have added those connections between those two markers creating it uh, making it into an undirected graph but instead what i should have done is to make it into a directed graph and in this way we can now specify that the car for example let me select another route for our car uh, from this yellow uh, green point the car can only travel in this direction from this point it can travel to the right or downwards again but it cannot really travel in the diagonal direction but this car marker also have the connection with this diagonal uh, marker and if we delete those unnecessary connections then we can make sure that our car can only find a way from this point towards this point using this line instead of crossing this diagonal path and reaching this red marker here okay i hope this makes some sense because the issue that we are facing is that we have two types of graph one is undirected which we had which allows us to create a graph that if there are two points the point at the uh, bottom is connected to the one at the top and the vice versa path is valid and what we want to use in an, a directed graph that we will use in this way that if we connect our lower marker with the upper marker it is only connected in this one way in this one direction and we are going to make some changes to our adjacency graph script so that if we add connection between the bottom and the top marker it only adds the uh, marker connection to the bottom marker list but the top marker list doesn't receive this connection and thus making it only a one-way connection. Okay, let me go to the project. Let's fix it so maybe you will understand it a bit better. Okay, so let me select the first uh, car marker without an index. This is the one at the bottom. If we consider how the car is traveling, it is traveling through this lane. It can go downwards or it can go straight so from this marker we cannot really go backwards so instead of adding this marker 2 as its connection we are going to select the car marker without an index and we are going to set the size of adjacency matrix to 0 
So from this marker, we can only travel to the marker that we will find connected uh, on the other root prefab that we have. Otherwise, it will not uh, unconnected at the default state. Let me select car marker number one. And we can see that this is correctly connected because from this marker, we cannot really go backwards. We can only go forwards. Select car marker two. If we are connected from here, we can go uh, from uh, below up to this marker and then go into uh, in the diagonal direction or to the right. But we cannot go backwards in this direction to the left. So we are going to select this marker at the, in the middle. It is marker 10. Okay, let's go back to our marker 2. And marker 10 is unfortunately at the first position. Now in the newer version 2020.2, uh, I think we can swap the positions. But for our current setup, we can't. So we are going to set uh, the marker 9 as the position of marker 10 and marker 5 at the position of marker 9. And we are going to reduce the size of the adjacency matrix to be 3, effectively deleting this connection to the center marker. I'm going to select the car marker 3 and I'm going to do again the same because our car marker, the first, uh, the second one I think we have uh, considered, is connected to this marker at the center, but this marker at the center, mark, car marker 3, can't really connect us backwards because the car is traveling in this direction on the upper lane. So we are going to make sure that we delete the car marker number 1, which is again at the first position. So what we will need to do is uh, swap the position, so we are going to uh, drag our car marker 4 in the position of car marker 1, car marker 5 in the position of car marker 4 and we are going to reduce the size to be 2. Great. Let's continue car marker 4. Again we have the same situation where our car marker from here we cannot really travel out in this diagonal direction or to the left. We can only go to the right or downwards. So let's see. The previous marker was car marker 3 so we are going to drag car marker 10 which is the one at the center in the position of car uh, element 0. Car marker one should be uh, swapped with i think will be eight yeah eight is uh, below so we are going to uh, slide eight in the position of car marker 10 and we are going to reduce the size to be only two markers and now from this marker we can only you travel forwards so to the right or downwards great let's select car marker five and again from this car marker we can only go to the left so to the left which is, uh, this is this car marker with index 7. So I'm going to make sure that the car marker with index 7 is first, and I'm going to reduce the size to be 1. Great. Right. Let's select car marker 6. This is correctly connected. Car marker 7. It has no connection, so I'm going to simply set the size to be 0, since from this car marker we can only go to the left, and we cannot go backwards. We cannot reverse. Car marker 8. This is this one. Again, this only allows us to go downwards, so we're going to set the size to be 0. And car marker 9, this is correctly set. And car marker 10. And here again we have the issue that we cannot really go backwards, so to the left, we can only go forwards. So let's select this one. And this is car marker 2. So car marker 2 is the first position, and we are going to reduce the size of the adjacency markers to be 1. And now this is correctly connected. So let's check again. Car marker without an index is correctly connected. No connections between those previous markers. One is connected to the next marker to the left. Two is connected in the diagonal direction. And this is incorrect because we cannot really go in this direction. Let's see which marker is it. It is marker five. So I'm going to select car marker two and make sure that we are going to reduce the adjacency metric size to be two. And it contains only car marker without an index and car marker 9 and again we cannot really go to the car marker 9 so i'm going to reduce it to one position and this is only the car marker without an index great car marker 3 can allow us to go in the diagonal direction or to the left car marker 4 can allow us to go to the uh, right or downwards okay car marker 5 only allows us to go to the left car marker 6 allows us to go to the right 7 has no connection, 8 has no connection, uh, and this is, yeah, this is true because we are going to use this uh, green line and go downwards, and then from downwards we need to go to the next road prefab. 9 
is correctly connected because this is the left hand side drive and 10 is correctly connected. Now we are going to save it, Control S or use this arrow underneath the hierarchy and we should probably do exactly the same with the uh, street four way. Although since it uh, works, we are not going to do it in this fixed video, but if there is a bug, let me know and we are going to fix it. For now, this is not the only thing that we will need to fix because if we go to our scripts and if we select our AI and if we select our adjacency graph, we have a bit of an issue with my setup because I have set this graph up as an, an undirected graph and we want it to be a directed graph. So let's open this script up by double tapping on it. Great. And here we have a bit of an issue because we are adding the vertex using this method and we are going to slide downwards when we have the add edge and here in the add edge method we are checking if we can get the vertex so instead of creating a new vertex or rather beside creating a new vertex if vertex 1 is equal to null we are going to call uh, in the if statement add vertex and we are going to simply pass v1 and we are going to make sure that we add the same in the below statement add vertex v2 so this will allow us to ensure that we have those vertices in our graph and then if you want to add an edge between position 1 and 2 in the undirected graph you want to add this connection between both v1 and to v2 and from v2 to v1 but with a directed graph we want to comment out or delete the second line since this first position is the start point the second position is the end point so let's call it control rr to change the name and we are going to call it start position and vector 2 will be control rr and end position and now we are only going to add the edge between start and from start to the end position and not in the other direction and this should be sufficient to create a directed graph using our three-way setup. Let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Great. We should be able to press play and make sure that you select the gizmo so that we can see the graph drawn from uh, our AI director. We are going to select road. We are going to create a road. Make sure that you have two three-ways. So one and the second one will go up and we are going to create somewhere here a house at the one uh, uh, and the start of our road and a spatial structure at the end of our road. Let's press escape to exit the build menu and let's spawn a car. And we can see that now the car has selected the correct path from one point to the other. And now it is using the correct lane to follow this path. So this should fix our issue. Now, if this has another bug in it, and I suppose it could have, let me know and we are going to fix it. But it should work also in the other direction. So now it should work well with this directed graph for the three-way. And again, as I have previously said, we can do basically the same for our four-way, as I believe there are some redundant connections between those points. Great! So I believe this should fix the error. Thank you for watching. Take care.